Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Hunter Elliott, Rainshot.com. So, after publishing reviews of the Kimber K6 Combat 357 Magnum Revolver and the Colt Python 357 Magnum Revolver, I got a lot of people asking me, hey Hunter, between those two, which one do you prefer and why? I thought, you know what, that's a pretty good question. And I would add another revolver in here, GP100 from Ruger, as kind of a control. Now, I've reviewed both of these. I've had this revolver 20 some odd years, shot it. I can't even guess how long I've shot it, how many times I've carried it. So I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, it is a very substantial, reliable, solid revolver. So I've got this in here just as kind of a control. And plus, I love the GP100, and I wanna show it off. <laughs> so I think where we should start is specifications. Now, I will link to the reviews of the Kimber and the Python in the description below. But I think if we start with specifications, that'll give you an idea of why I picked which one I picked and why on which one I like better. So let's go over this real quick. Python barrel length is four and a quarter. Kimber's four. Ruger is 4.2. The Python and the Kimber both are made of stainless steel, while the Ruger is made of an alloy. Height on the Python is five and a half inches. Kimber's five inches. Ruger's 5.7 inches. Overall length on the Python is nine and three quarters. 8.6 inches on the Kimber and nine and a half on the GP100. The width, 1.55 inches on the Python, 1.39 inches on the Kimber, 1.56 inches on the Ruger. Weight, 42 ounces on the Python, 29 ounces on the Kimber, 40 ounces on the GP100. Capacity on all these revolvers is six. MSRP, 14.99 for the Python, 12.09 for the Kimber, 979 for the GP100. And the last thing I want to talk about is the sighting system. The K6 Combat has a three dot sighting system with a drift adjustable rear dovetailed in. The Python has a fully adjustable rear elevation and windage with an orange front. And then the GP100 has just a rear adjustable sight with a black front sight. The Python and the GP100 for size wise, weight wise, there's not a lot of difference between them. but the Kimber itself, well, it's shorter in height and length and 13 ounces lighter. So that would make it more conducive for a concealed carry. However, because of it is lighter and smaller, and I talked about this in the review, some of the 357 Magnums, especially the hotter stuff, was pretty snappy in that, that the K6 Combat. Whereas with the Python and the GP100, they are heavier. They got a, a larger grip area. So it helps absorb some of that recoil and you got a lot more meat on the gun to get your hand around. You can see here, and I'll just show you, hold it up to the camera. While the Python is larger, the grip area is also a lot larger. And that's gonna lead me to the conclusion. Now this is my opinion. I'm just gonna shut these cylinders because I've showed you everything is clear, empty, pointed in a safe direction. Between these three revolvers, all things considered, I would absolutely 100% without a doubt pick the Python over these three. Trigger-wise, it is somewhat superior to the Kimber. It's noticeably better than the Ruger. The sights, it has the, has the best sighting system, the best trigger, in my opinion, the best grip. You've got this large wooden grip here that's kind of checkered. Now the, now the GP100, it's got a, a larger grip area here rubberized with these wooden panels and so it's not bad but i just you know k6 combat this camber is just it's a small grip i mean i can i can barely get my pinky around it and so shooting that hotter stuff you notice it now i didn't trash the camber in the review because it's not a bad revolver it, it's not it, it it did what it's supposed to do it carried well it shot well but when you compare it to something like the python in my opinion, the Python has got better sights, better trigger, better grip. It shoots better. And taking, the, taking this Python out of the equation, y'all, seriously, if I had to go between the K6 Combat or the GP100, well, I would pick the GP100. While the trigger isn't quite as nice as the Kimber, the sights are pretty close, but the weight and the grip makes it a lot easier to shoot the hotter 357 magnum i don't dislike the k6 combat 
but I'm doing a direct comparison. When I review the revolver, when I review any firearm, I review it on its own merits, how it compares to what people shoot and how the gun stands on its own. But now when we start entering in other factors, other, other firearms that are similar but different, then you've got some comparisons to make. Now this is my opinion, your mileage may vary, but people ask, wanted to know of the three, or, well, the two, I'm just, I put the GP100 in there for, like I said, a control. But for me, the Python is, is the clear winner between these three with a GP100 coming in second. So anyway, there's a comment section below, y'all. If, uh, if you disagree with me, that's great. But tell me why, which revolver, you know, let's, let's, let's kind of, you got ideas, understand that these, all three of these are capacity six rounds and all the barrel lengths are similar. So, you know, of course I don't have a little SP 101 in here or a Colt Cobra or whatever, a little small snubby. I'm trying to keep the plan field somewhat similar in capacity and barrel length. So if you disagree with me, what revolver would you, do you think is superior in this class? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it, see what everybody thinks. What do you think about revolvers? Are they outdated? Do you think that their time has come and gone? Personally for me, I do not. But some people may think autoloaders are where it's at, which I agree there, but I think revolvers certainly still have a place in today's society. But what do you think on that? You think all these are moot? You know, let's, let's generate some discussion here. But anyway, it's starting to get dark. Candy signaling me supper's uh, getting ready to be ready. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on that. So. Let me know what you think, good, bad, or right or wrong, man. I want y'all to take care of yourselves and each other, and I look forward to seeing you at the range.